Hello and welcome to the Mercury Vapor Girl channel. Today I'd like to share with you this uh, little fixture that takes 80 or 125 watt mercury vapor bulbs made by AEG or IG in German, Allgemeine Elektrische Gesellschaft. And uh, this, uh, this is a design from the late 70s uh, that has been built up uh, into the 90s. And uh, I, I'd like to show you this fixture, especially because it's really uh, in good shape and uh, well, uh, it's a good demonstrator of its quirks and features. Let me just start with the canopy of this fixture. And this is a fiberglass reinforced plastic here, ABS, I believe so. And the interesting thing is that this is the original paint. The plastic underneath it uh, is more of a whitish color and you can see here this fixture probably was never mounted or if it was not for long but it has been scratched up pretty badly here in storage so you can see the color of the original paint but also the color of this, this plastic and uh, since this fixture has never been really mounted anywhere on the mast it, uh, or it at least appears it, it wasn't. Uh, this uh, fixture has a really, really nice clear bowl. Also, this is just a scratch from uh, storage. So the guys that had it in storage were not really nice to it, unfortunately. But um, also here, this uh, aluminum casting that uh, holds the mast is also uh, non-corroded and really shiny still. So that's pretty interesting. And we can also start with this, this contraption here. It's pretty unique to these fixtures. And because of this cable that I put in here, I cannot put this fully up. But you can see this. This can be uh, changed to a, a mast uh, mounting fixture here. So this can be very easily be mounted to a post top via this opening or a master arm via this opening very easy very genius um, feature of all of the later AEG coffer fixtures actually this was very smart and uh, the bigger models also had that all right let's have a look at the insides of this fixture here so here is the simple choke ballast and uh, this fixture actually has a, a power compensating capacitor here and this is uh, was produced in the year uh, 1998 most probably because there is a, a 98 printed on there and here is the so the ballast is uh, a multi-tap ballast that you can change the wattage of the mercury vapor bulb on so you have the 125 watts that it is set uh, for now or the 80 watts and this can be changed very easily here on this connection block you have to pull the cable out and put it onto the other outlet and then it's converted basically so pretty simple another neat fix uh, feature of this fixture is uh, down here you have the connection block and this can be Pulled out pretty easily, just like that. And now all this this door, uh, fixture door with this uh, components here is completely free, and you can take it away and change it for another, if you so wish. And also putting this back is not too hard; it can be done with one hand. When it clicks, you are done. Okay, and that's how this works. Here. In the lamp compartment we have this beautiful uh, reflector that has this uh, steps in it that, so that it doesn't take too much space of the lamp chamber and um, on the bottom uh, there is this perforation that throws the light more the light that goes down from the bulb it goes more on the on the side it's a really neat reflector that works really really well and the interesting thing here about this fixture, you may be able 
to read that it was uh, uh, originally for 70 watt a high pressure sodium bulbs with internal igniter. Very strange that this pretty new fixture already has some kind of quirky past because someone has obviously changed this gear. Uh, the gear door is from another fixture than the original one here. It must be because it's for mercury vapor bulbs, right? And the sticker here is still for the 70 watt. And also the internal igniter bulbs are kind of not very common in Germany. So I don't know why they would do it like that. Usually they, they would have here uh, another, like a piece of a strap of, of, of steel and to it they would also mount the starting gear for the 70 watt bulb and this would just be the standard solution so you can use standard 70 watt high pressure sodium bulbs or there would be no capacitor so they would just mount it here because this uh, fixtures often enough had no power factor correction and here last but not least this prismatic bowl that is really really nice in a really nice shape apart from the few scratches from storage you can see this prism uh, change when you kind of go around and this makes the light be thrown mostly on the side so here like along the street side and from the top you can barely see inside and this is because it would be like the house side of the fixture so they want to throw the light more downward and not uh, that much to the side right well it puts let's put the fixture together and start it up and see how it works okay we've put the fixture back together and now let's start it up see how it works This is a new mercury vapor bulb and you can see on the camera that it uh, has a very warm startup tone in reality it's pretty pink but on the camera it's more like a warm white it's pretty deceiving in person it's really pinkish and, uh, this fixture especially with the 80 watt and 125 watt mercury vapor bulbs was one of the most popular fixtures in western germany uh, there is of course two bigger models than this one the bigger model could accommodate two 80 or 125 watt bulbs or 250 watt mercury vapor or like their kind of high pressure sodium equivalent and uh, there was also a even bigger version for 400 watt bulbs mercury vapor or high pressure sodium so i see that on the camera the flickering starts because this bulb is really new and it's really really bright and it's becoming brighter and the camera can't cope with it really but I, I'm pretty happy to be able to show it to you this pretty new fixture here in a very nice condition. And here you can see what I mean by the refractors and the direction. So when you look like from the lower side, it's just you just see the bulb. The reflectors are not very active in this direction because it still is really bright under such a fixture. You want to um, distribute the light more along the street and not only under the fixture so in this direction when you go in this direction you can see the reflectors start to be active and uh, reflect the bulb a lot and also the refractors make it uh, appear really really bright so this is one of the two mo main beams of such an optic for streets and then of course when we go more and more up there is still the beam and you can still see the light so you want to throw the light as far as you can on the sides of course but you don't want to throw any light on the houses or on the opposite side of the street so here you can see there is some light but of course most of the light is directed downwards and 
Like here from this perspective, you don't see the bulb at all anymore because the refractors point the light downwards. And the same here on the other side. So this bowl is uh, symmetric. So you couldn't you could flip it around and put it into the fixture and it would work the same. It has no like house or street side really. It's just about uh, symmetrical. Well, I hope you liked this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.